going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to read a series of stories about Raggedy Ann. But first I'm going to give you a little introduction about a little girl named Marcella and how she came to know Raggedy Ann. Marcella liked to play up in the attic at Grandma's quaint old house way out in the country, for there were so many old forgotten things way up there. One day when Marcella was up in the attic and had played with the old spinning wheel until she had grown tired of it, she curled up on an old horsehair sofa to rest. I wonder what's in that barrel way over in the corner there, she thought as she jumped from the sofa and climbed over two dusty trunks to the barrel standing back under the eaves. It was quite dark back there, so when Marcella had pulled a large bundle of things from the barrel, she took them over to the dormer window where she could see better. There was a funny little bonnet with long white ribbons. Marcella put it on. In an old leather bag, she found a number of tintypes of queer-looking men and women in old-fashioned clothes. And there was one picture of a very pretty little girl with long curls tied tightly back from her forehead and wearing a long dress and queer pantaloons which reached to the top of her shoes. And then, out of the heap, she pulled an old rag doll with only one shoe button eye and a painted nose and a smiling mouth. Her dress was of soft material, blue with pretty little flowers and dots all over it. Forgetting everything else in the happiness of her find, Marcella caught up the rag doll and ran downstairs to show it to Grandma. Well, well, where did you find it? Grandma cried. It's old Raggedy Ann, she went on as she hugged the doll to her breast. I had forgotten her. She has been in the attic for 50 years, I guess. Well, well, dear old Raggedy Ann, I will sew another button on her right away, said Grandma, and she went to the machine drawer and got her needle and thread. Marcella watched the sewing while Grandma told how she had played with Raggedy Ann when she was a little girl. Now, <laughs> Grandma laughed, Raggedy Ann, you have two fine shoe button eyes, and with them you can see the changes that have taken place in the world while you have been shut up so long in the attic. For Raggedy Ann, you have a new playmate and mistress now, and I hope you both will have as much fun and happiness together as you and I used to have. Then Grandma gave Raggedy Ann to Marcella, saying very seriously, Marcella, I want to introduce you to my friend, Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann, this is my granddaughter, Marcella. And Grandma gave the doll a twitch with her fingers in such a way that the old rag doll nodded her head to Marcella. Oh, Grandma, thank you ever and ever so much, Marcella cried as she gave Grandma a hug and a kiss. Raggedy Ann and I will have such fun together. And this is how Raggedy Ann joined the doll family at Marcella's house, where she began the adventures of Raggedy Ann, told in the following stories.